Hi, this is Celeste with the Celeste Report. And so many of you had questions about the 3D printed meat. So today we are going to have a 3D printed meat boot camp. So let's get to it. So currently, there is no reliable way for consumers to determine if meat is 3D printed through visual inspection or any sensory cues alone. The technology is designed to replicate the appearance, the texture, and the flavor of real meat so closely that even experienced taste testers may struggle to distinguish it. For example, samples of 3D printed meat presented at events reported to look, feel, taste, and smell like the real thing. Redefine meat. 3D printed steaks have been described as having a beefy flavor, authentic chew, and meaty aroma, while some viewers noted that the product was almost too realistic. This is how 3D print meat is made. It is constructed using a precise layering technology that starts with a digital model of a steak in a computer using AI. And then they use a proprietary bio inks. Yes, the very bio inks that I've been talking about since at least 2020 and even earlier and or plant-based ingredients that are not visible to the naked eye. Some critics have noticed that the fibrous structure and color in the 3D mil uh, meat Products can appear too uniform compared to natural meat. This process actually began in the early 1990s when 4-H leaders were teaching, getting instructed um, how to teach their 4-H students that everyone and all consumers wanted uniform meats. Unless the product is explicitly labeled or the manufacturer provide some information, it is not possible to tell if meat is 3D printed at this time. The technology is still evolving and its goal is to make distinction as indistinguishable as possible. So there you have it. That's, that's your 3D meat boot camp. At least you know a little bit more. It's very hard to distinguish. My plan of attack or solution is to go to my local rancher. That is fraught with its own problems. But at least I'm not getting 3D printed meat. I may get some other things. But that is a discussion for another day. This is Celeste with the Celeste Report. And we'll, we will see you the next time.